Hello YouTube. This is my first video. Today we are going to put together Snickler Crib from IKEA. I tried looking online for a good video regarding the assembly of this crib, but I was very disappointed and I never got a video that explained things in detail. Hopefully, I'll do a jo good job of explaining it quickest way possible. I'm sure you're holding that paper in your hand right now or on the table asking yourself what the heck but the actual instruction is located behind this mesh here. If you stick your finger behind it you'll see the actual instruction on putting this script together with the whole assembly. It's still a little confusing that's why I made the video to make it a little easier on everybody so um, Try to make this a quick video, hopefully less than 15 minutes, but we shall see. Next thing I want to go over is everything that came with the box. Make sure it's there before we start the installation or the assembly. Uh, we'll start with the bottom part with the mesh. That's where the mattress goes. And the other two are the side rails, the two long ones, and the bottom wood there and these two here. So the wood on the bottom, it's when you convert your infant bed into a toddler bed, so we won't talk about it until later. Next we'll go to the assembly tools, the nuts, the bolts, and the washer that are here. We have eight of these blue tip screws, along with eight of these sinkers, because they'll be going into the wood. I'll show it to you later, but you gotta, just like this, we turn them in, but we'll look into it later. So those two go together, the blue one and the sinkers up top. And here we have four, much smaller than the blue screws that we have. And these four, along with those circular hook the washers and the toppers there, they all go together. And we won't need this until later. I'm gonna put this together in the order that it goes because the hook part there is going into the screw first drop it in after this we're going to drop in the washer and after that the topper there so I'm just doing this that way it'll be less confusion later because we're going to undo everything later when we are installing the mesh part I'm just going to put all these together I'm going to do all four there we go and I will keep it to the side to create less confusion later so you know you don't need to use this until the very end along with these two four cappers these four screws these two sets they go together later into a part of the wood frame next we are going to go to see the hardware part this is the hex screw along with the small wrench will be used in the hex screwdriver more often than the wrench. This part right here in my opinion is the most important part of the assembly of this grip because doing it wrong could add about 15-20 minutes or even more to your installation time. As you can see there's a hole on the top along with three on there, four, make it an eight plus one, nine holes on this side of this rail. So the rail I have on the other side is the exact same one but the only difference is I have it flipped and instead of 9 holes you only have 5 holes versus 9 on this side. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to flip this side around that way the side with 9 holes will be facing us. Then after that I'm going to align all four rails and get started. I just want to show you something real quick before we start the assembly. There are two holes, the one up top, and if, if you have a newborn or an infant, that your mattress height will be set up to that one. If you have a toddler, it goes in the hole in the bottom, so the mattress will be lower. But this part right here, this is where you start off if you have a newborn or an infant. And we'll start with the assembly now. 
All right, we'll go ahead and start with the assembly part now, along with some quick tips. These longer rails on the side, it doesn't matter how you place them. It could be flips upside down, side to side, right to left, doesn't matter. But the most important part is these shorter rails, and you have to make sure the side with the nine holes is facing inside the crib or facing the mattress. The nine holes, as you can see, and I showed you earlier in details. On the other side too, I have it matched up. Uh, the, the side with the nine holes is facing towards the mattress. It's inside the crib. That is very important. And I'll show you some hardware part now. All right, I am gonna start off with the first corner. So I have two of each. Since you have eight, each corner needs two of each. Two of the blue ones and two of these sinkers. And also the hex to tighten up the screw. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna place these sinkers into the hole. Just make sure the line on it is facing straight out in the same plane as the wood. Show you in a second. So just make sure it's nice and straight, facing straight out. Next thing we're gonna do is, we are gonna grab the, I'm gonna grab the nail, screw, and uh, this is a hole that's gonna go into, that way it'll be aligned with the other end. And this screw right here, we are gonna place it through that hole, and I'm gonna lift the rail up, then kind of have the screw go into the hole, and make sure that line is nice and straight, so the screw will go into and get a nice bite. Next, I'm going to change the camera angle. I'll show you. If you're doing it alone, I suggest doing the bottom part first. Because when you do the top, you have to place that sinker from the bottom up. So you need to have both of your hands. So place your screw into the middle hole there. And slightly slide the rail in. You don't have to tie it yet. I'll leave it there. Then we are going to go to the top part. This is a part where you have to get the sinkers from the bottom up. And still, you have to make sure the line is facing straight out. And I'm going to put the screw in through here. Tie it in a little bit. And we will stay in place. Make sure you get a little bit of the bite. Because we are going to use the hex screwdriver to tighten it. I will tighten it about 90% of the way and I won't tighten it all the way. Just keep it at 90%. Next you want to flip this so the side with all the instruction is facing up. Now we'll go ahead and start with these screws and bolts that we put on the side from the beginning of the video. Uh, this is what we have to place onto the mesh part of the crib. This part right here will help us adjust the height along with the washer and also the bolt that will tighten it up onto the mesh part. Here's a little wrench that helps us apply some counterclockwise pressure so we can actually tighten it with the wrench onto the mesh part of the mattress. So I'll show you a different angle. So this process is much smoother if, it's, if you're holding the this mesh board upright but for the sake of a good camera angle I'm going to do it this way. So I drop the screw down then I slide in this hook followed by the washer then I'm going to get the bolt and I'm going to tighten it with the help of the wrench. So I'll hand tighten it a little bit until I get a little bite. Once I get a little bite, it'll get real tight that you won't be able to turn it with your hand anymore. That's when you go ahead and bring out the little wrench and your hex screwdriver. You hold it down and you start turning it up top. This part right here, you can turn it pretty much all the way in. And I will do this to all four corners of the mesh board. So 
so I have this plate and I have it pointing straight up and in the bottom part I have it pointing straight down as you can see if you keep it straight up it will be much easier for you to bring this part into the crib otherwise it is not a good fit since it's pointing down you can place it there I'm going to turn the camera around and give you an angle from the inside a look from the inside oh this is a view from the inside of the crib as you can see the mesh board with the warning sign and the caution sign it is facing in and that's how we want it um, I'm going to show a different view of the crib from the bottom now where this is going into the hole alright so what you're going to do is we're going to bring it up push this guy let me get my right hand in there and there, there we go kind of sinked in a little bit you know went in down by itself uh, we're going on to this side we'll do the same thing uh, lift up a little bit there we go so it kind of sunk in a little bit um, so next what we're going to do is we are going to uh, install this other rail that goes up top here which is this right here so uh, again very important that this part is facing in to the crib otherwise this part this nail right here is not gonna there's no hole on the other side of this bar it's just one well two but so the side with the most holes the nine holes gotta be facing in this way of the crib all right here we go I haven't installed this yet the top piece but I want to show you guys before you screw it in we want to make sure that bad boy right there is going to go into that hole right there sorry and also on that side we got to make sure that it is going into the hole so but you get the point you just got to slide it in there before you tighten everything up here all right we're almost done uh, all you have by now, the, all these screws you have left should be uh, a pair of these. Um, so you can see to the two little guys. And where they go is right in here. So what you do is the screw part, which is this right here. It goes up to the top. And the other one, you put it from the bottom up then you just screw it into each other so I did this part already I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom there and uh, and I'm gonna tighten everything up one more time once I sit everything straight up that way I'm gonna make sure um, they're all in place then again make sure all these are in the right spot all four corners make sure they're uh, in there and it's so it won't be falling down or anything um, so this is how it looks and I'm gonna I'll be done in like another minute I'm gonna put it straight the last two screws that are placed um, I just hand tighten them I didn't use a screwdriver or anything because it's not doing any purpose the ones right there I'm on the top um, it's not doing anything right now but uh, maybe later on when we put the other bar in it might come in handy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, tighten everything one more time. All the ones, the one here, bottom, um, make sure it looks good. So this is how it looks. Um, these guys, the paper, highly recommend sending this in. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason is if you ever there is a safety recall or uh, any issues like that, you want to be notified. You know, you don't want to hear it on the news or you don't want to be a, a victim to it. So fill it up, uh, send it in. I think it's free postage. Yes, it is. So uh, don't slack on that. Send that in. And, and these right here, I'm going to put it right back into that little slot. I also left my wrench and my little hex screwdriver in there. So it'll stay there and you can always go back and grab them. And thank you.